Wow, Simon. We never would have taken you for a poet. Never would have taken you for an idiot, Simon. Well, Simon, what do you say? <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, I'm trying to like remember every little thing we need to remember about uh, this section of the game. Like I, I can use my focus thing here and also we're not allowed to touch the sanctuaries. Is that what he called the triangles? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, messy old letters. Those letters look very old. The postmark suggests they were sent out from Louisiana. Yeah, you see the dragonfly and everything. Mm-hmm. Mr. Francis Zach Morgan. Okay. Oh, Zach got an invitation for Smash. <laughs> oh, it would have been amazing if he was in. And I suspect that dragonfly mark belongs to the Clarkson family. What gave it away? <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> so what if it does? A stalker has been harassing. I'm sorry. Clarkson were those cans of water now. with nutrition facts on them? I think they might have been. Now, I in in uh, in Canada here, when we have seltzer water, I believe it does still have nutrition facts, even though it's just empty. Okay. Uh, so maybe that's a Japanese thing as well. I don't know. I I assume from your reaction, it, they don't do that in America. It doesn't sound like something that happens, but then again, I don't really pay much attention to nutrition facts anyway. Okay. Also, a stalker has been harassing Patricia Clarkson for several years now. Patricia Clarkson. Which one's that? Patty? Did we ever get Patty's last name? Mm-mm. Is she adopted? Because we know that uh, Melvin, uh, the the police chief is the Woods. stepfather, right? He's not blood Patricia, related. No, yeah, we actually didn't know it was Patricia Woods. Yeah. Does that mean that... Does Maybe that Maybe Patty mean... got married in. Okay. Yeah, okay. At, at this I'm just point. I'm, I'm just trying to think, like... Now, she is Patricia Woods, but did she just simply adopt that name because that's her stepdad? What was her original last name? Was it Clarkson? Or has she married in since the events in Louisiana? I don't know. I, th I think it's since. Like, she's been married in since. Okay. Let's we'll see where this goes. Did you know about this? Constant silent phone calls. Unmarked letters. She also spotted a suspicious figure lurking near her mansion several times. Her mansion? And just mm. last week, her employees spotted a strange figure lurking in the vicinity. The day someone else coincidentally used your alias and traveled to Louisiana. I'm not crazy, right? There's only one Patricia in the game that we've run into. And it's Patty. Yeah, yeah. that sounds right. Okay. That's very intriguing. Aligned symbolism. Lise Clarkson also reported being harassed by a stalker just before she was murdered. Hmm. You're aware of this, correct? Because I didn't find any mention of this in your report. No direct connection to the case. Huh. That's what we must have thought. The visionary lies to himself, the liar only to others. Which are you? That's enough for now. This all has nothing to do with the case. Besides, there's no evidence that proves those letters are from her. Isn't that right, my fairy? Hmm. I wonder if we... I mean, we're FBI. I don't know if we're allowed to look at those letters or not. However, I... I vaguely remember them talking about how Simon was in charge of, like, making sure he read everything going in and out of this house. Mm -hmm. this so apartment. Simon would know something. Yeah, I, I wonder if Simon has literally read those exact letters before. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the look thing. Nothing? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go... Well, I, that I, one's I, being high lit, so... Yeah, I, I kind of want to do the other ones first to get more dialogue. 
And, and plus, I really want to know what the game has to say about Green Veil. Mm hmm. Mr. Morgan, I noticed that several parts of this report have been redacted. For example, here. One individual's name has been erased from the key figure list. Would you mind telling me why? She died. Un unrelated to anything. However, uh, Morgan is a really good surname, isn't it? Yeah, right? Yeah, good sound to it. Someone in charge must have thought it was unimportant. Or maybe even inappropriate. Why would they think that? How should we know? We've never understood what those people What are do. we, a detective? <laughs> <laughs> well, I took the liberty of trying to restore what was taken out. Normal ink was used to blot it out, so I was able to recover part of it. Here's what it says. Sapling salesman. Mm. All the other redacted parts seem to be connected to this person. But I can't think of a single reason why this individual would need to be removed from the report. I love how half the lines, the way they cut the audio, there's like a deep inhale, and then yeah, just yeah, compositely yeah. go to the next line. It's like the end of a Shally video. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know uh, you remarked on the, the inhale previously, but uh, yeah. it, it's still funny to me to, to think yeah, about it, it like that. It's still hilarious to me, and I, that Shally joke, no one will get because that's literally way no one. like old let's plays is just our friend shally who had guessed in a lot of videos for some reason i just started noticing that often at the end of videos when we all say our like little outro thing she has a very deep inhale right after and i just thought it was hilarious what i remember during one of those episodes where she was guesting and she didn't do it you just did <sighs> <laughs> she just she just died laughing at that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember if her her uh laughter after that made it into the video or not, but I did the inhale because she didn't. Uh good mm -hmm. times. Oh him. He's nothing. We were barking up the wrong tree. Oh, I'm not sure not sure you were barking up the wrong tree on that one. I think he was a giant frog monster with a giant eyeball in his throat. It was weird shit. Meaning? Can't include someone who doesn't exist in an official report, now can we? We have a picture of him. If you go to the Great Deer Yard Hotel and you look behind Polly's counter, there's a picture of Kaysen on the wall. Doesn't exist. You mean he had nothing to do with the case? <laughs> yeah. You could say that. That was interesting. I saw the little icon in the bottom right, like I had to press A, and it just went on its own. Hmm. Okay, let's finally take a look at this. Mr. Morgan. According to you, at the beginning of this case, the victim's body was being stored in the warehouse on purpose. Is that the truth? They really put her body there alongside food and other perishables? It's in the report. No. Yes, I know that. The report only says... I was just about to say, it's in the book. It was stored using the most effective and shockingly inhuman method possible. If you can think of a better phrase, we're all ears. <laughs> How about you describe what happened instead? The report isn't wrong, you know. In fact, that might actually be the most accurate way of describing it. Simon, you're really bad at good cop, bad cop. You good cop in the dumbest places. <laughs> it's precise, and it's also kinda poetic. It's not you know? precise. He didn't say what how it was stored. He just described his opinions on it, which I'll point out, by the way, the opinions in that report completely clash with what York was saying. York was saying, like, this is really intelligent, you know? Huh. Wow, Simon. We never would have taken you for a poet. Never would have taken you for an idiot, Simon. Well, Simon, what do you say? <laughs> oh, that's got to be in the game at some point. I really hope. <laughs> Weird laugh, but okay. <laughs> right? 
You two think this is a joke? Lise Clarkson's body was discovered in that cold storage warehouse after 14 long years. If you'd only done a proper investigation, we probably would have found her much sooner. Mm, yeah, probably. And we weren't on the case! <sighs> that poor girl. We still regret the fact that we never got to meet her. We're sorry from the bottoms of our hearts. I only hope it didn't happen that way by design. Will are you, you saying comfort me? Are you saying that we killed her before we showed up to town? What are you trying to accuse us of here? <sighs> Thank you, my fairy. Like we weren't in town when she died. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't go that easily. Mm. Maybe I should try asking my questions in a different way. I could use Agent Jones here. Hmm. So are we gonna good cop, bad cop then? Or <laughs> nervous, nervous Simon. Simon? Nervous Simon. I wanna ask about the DVDs because we were fascinated with that on episode two, I think. Mm, one of the early ones bugging you, isn't it, Aaliyah? Huh? What? I get it. I get it. It's bugging me, too. The the milk carton thing back there? I was I just about to bring that up. Still can't figure it out all these months later. It's even got my heart racing a little. I mean, look at this. Nothing but DVDs. And a radiator. Not a single Blu-ray in sight, just pure, unadulterated DVDs. He didn't know how to spell DVDs. VHS tapes, too. I don't even have a VHS player in my house anymore. Whoa, look at this. Check it out. Special balls? What? Space balls. <laughs> Space balls! This oh. one's got a lot of pizza in it, remember? Oh, Spaceballs was such fucking a good pizza fucking- Pizza the Hut, Jesus. I, I watched that movie like six times growing up. That was a good one. You're not wrong, Simon. How did they get away with just putting Spaceballs in the game? <laughs> There's a very I, large quantity they didn't of pizza in that film. They didn't acknowledge it by name yet. I guess, I mean, look, we could read it. Were we not supposed to be able to read that? Did you see how low quality it was? Directed yeah. By Mel Brooks. I mean, it did. It did look like it said "special balls" to me. So, the version on that tape is the one we recorded back when you could catch it on cable TV. Oh, seriously? Damn, Morgan, that's incredible. You're really living the dream, man. <laughs> Recording space balls on your features. <laughs> You're living the dream, man. <laughs> I hope you both haven't forgotten that this conversation is also being recorded. We busted him. You're under arrest for illegally recording space balls. Now, tell me about that window. Is it glass? <laughs> this is a nice building. No, it's not. The layout isn't bad either. Whew. Must be rather expensive to rent a place like this in Boston. It's like two bucks a month. How many other rooms are there in this apartment? That room over there, your bedroom? Huh. Why so curious, Belle? It almost sounds as if you're seeing this place for the first time. Clearly, you haven't played D4. My roommate Aside lives the in there. Shop on the first floor. Oh, the place with Allen wrenches, gerbil feeders, <laughs> toilet seats, electric heaters. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I, the millisecond I saw the words hardware, hardware shop, I knew what was coming. <laughs> We're well aware that you studied the layout of this apartment before you came to see us. There's no need to act so roundabout. Just be honest. Say it. I want to see your bedroom. Well then? Doesn't mean we'll let you see it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, Simon's probably seen it. Simon's whole job is to is to research this place. He's probably played D4. He looks like the kind of guy who would have played D4. Agent yeah. Jones. Agent Jones, are you on Steam? <laughs> Add me. Are you paying attention? Trade me some trading cards. The summer sale is just so good. I need that D4 badge. I got a great deal on this hat in Team Fortress 2. You remember back those days? Yeah, man, the TF2 trading, like, uh, oh, Marketplace, that's what it was called. Yeah, God, I miss TF2. That game had personality. Mm-hmm. Or do you intend to waste Mr. Morgan's precious time? Uh, no, sorry. I'm just a little tired. I'm listening, I'm listening. I was Take listening. Take your hand out of your pocket. Didn't they teach you any manners at Quantico? Oh, uh, right. Guess they slipped my mind. My bad. <laughs> Still doing it. There we go. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Data analysis is my specialty, you know. I appreciate the honesty. I, uh, I'm sure I'd be able to calm down a bit if I had some pizza though he was also the one to <laughs> remark on the correct way to eat pizza because of a movie and oh, yeah. zach jumped on him for that so he's just obsessed with pizza i forgot about that that was a while ago <laughs> zach chokes out <sighs> the fbi needs to do something about their lack of personnel I'll have to ask the questions myself, but how should I start? Maybe I should look back over the files and mm. calmly reassess the situation. Well, uh, oh, maybe I should calmly look over the ceiling light and, ass and assess the situation. Uh... <laughs> Just the usual around here. No need to... Yeah, the upstairs neighbors, I guess. Oh. The usual? Yes. A strange person lives upstairs. Every now and then, he makes noise. What's strange about him? Several years ago, a woman was murdered upstairs. Her husband still lives there. Yikes. He's ex-BPD. And apparently, he's still searching for the killer. Uh, Boston Police Department? I guess so, yeah. Uh. But it seems like they cut all support for the investigation due to decreased funding. The so, remind me again. Wanted to keep working on it. What was the uh, role of the main character of D4? Like, what, what was his occupation? Uh, he was... Oh shit, he might have actually been uh, a retired police officer. He had a guy called David Young, and his whole thing was he was shot in the head, I think, on a case. And so he's got like a scar on his forehead, and he can go in his bathtub holding a memento to relive a moment that happened associated with that item. So because mm -hmm. there was only one chapter of D4 that was released, uh, the momentum he had would take you to an airplane that ended up mysteriously crashing, and you're you're on it investigating all the people and trying to figure out what happened, you know? Mm -hmm. um, he His whole thing is he doesn't leave his apartment at all. He simply lives there with a cat who's played by a fully grown woman who acts like a cat, and he only acknowledges her as a cat, I believe. And his friend from the Boston Police Department who would always come in and eat with him and they would talk a lot about the case and he would try to help him bring him mementos. His name is Forrest Kaysen. However, it he doesn't look like the Forrest Kaysen from Deadly Premonition. Forrest Kaysen is a name that Swery uses in all of his games. Mm -hmm. um, not always as an antagonist. In fact, the first time he used the name was Spy Fiction, where I believe he was like a friendly NPC. Mm -hmm. um, he, it's always a fat guy, though. And... Gluttony is always a big part of their character, so I don't know if that's related. But if we're literally in the same room, then if that means that D4 is in the same canon as Deadly Premonition, there are multiple people called Forrest Kaysen. That or it's the same guy in a disguise? I don't know. Like I don't know what the implication is of that. Okay, one more question. Um, why was D4 canned? 
D4 was canned, as far as anyone can tell, and as far as Sweary has said, um, my recollection of it was it sold very poorly. It was randomly released as an Xbox One exclusive when the Xbox One was new, with pretty much no hype or fanfare whatsoever. It was months, I think, before it was even put on Steam. And it wasn't long by then before I think Sweary was gone from that company. Uh, he Apparently they kind of felt they were left to die as an Xbox One exclusive that got no real support. So, this line of dialogue that Zach is going through right now, he's talking about an ex-BPD man living upstairs. Uh, he used to be part of the BPD, but then they lost funding. What if the guy up there is the guy from D4, and he's commenting on how D4 didn't get enough funding, and now this line, the team on the case wanted to keep working on it, but the suits wouldn't hear of it. You know what? I'm very surprised that I didn't piece that together until you started asking questions. Yeah, it really does sound like he's referencing that. Are... Are they implying that all the apartments look very, very similar, and that's why? It generally is the case with, yeah. uh, with most American apartments. Okay, because if this is just, like, cloned rooms, basically, that would explain, like, yes, we are, we're not literally in David Young's room, we are simply the floor below, and it looks the same. Okay. If that's what they're trying to imply, I'm very interested. <laughs> the tale is old as time. Beauty He's and the Beast. <laughs> Sorry. Perhaps. He's been making a lot more noise recently. He's been making a lot of noise recently. You mean Beauty and the Beats? Mmm. Like you just heard. You never noticed anything, Agent Jones. Well, I did hear some loud noises every now and then, but I didn't think they were real noises coming from upstairs. I thought they were those fake noises. I mean, look at him. Smoking. It's not like he's reacting to the noise. He always just went about his business as usual for all the years I've watched him. So I just figured it was coming from the TV. You really amaze me sometimes. I don't know. I think that's actually a pretty fair explanation. Huh. I wonder if we're ever going to be able to check upstairs. After you arrested Galena Clarkson, you had a run-in with the Clarksons. At least that's what it says in the report. What exactly happened there? Just a simple run-in, that's all. Nothing but a single phenomenon. Hmm. Chasing hollow instances like that won't lead you closer to the truth. Truth doesn't work like that. A hollow phenomenon which resulted in a mountain of corpses. Mountain? Whoa. <laughs> Corpse Mountain is my favorite Mario Party board. <laughs> oh, Belle. We think we finally understand what you're trying to say. But don't be so voracious. <sighs> How about another cup of coffee? We've still got a long way to go, you know. <laughs> I don't think we've seen him stand up before this, have we? Outside of him walking on air. It's oh, yeah. It's yeah. ground, so there should only be four teaspoons per cup. Four teaspoons per cup, coarsely ground. No more, no less. Next, the coffee travels from the funnel to the siphon. Simon. Is he doing a pour over? Normally, you only do surveillance in order to gather data, correct? Hiding microphones and cameras, sifting through garbage, wiretapping, shadowing, tracing credit card histories. You'll do whatever it takes to gather data in order to prevent crimes. That's how the FBI works. Uh, well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no reason in hiding it now, I guess. <laughs> Why do you ask? Our Southern Belle has adopted a very peculiar M.O. <laughs> Zach, we can still hear you. You're echoing. 
It's almost like she has a special power. She can like focus. Us. Her dead eyes as she thinks about the sports ball game. As she stares at a dusty table. You've been watching us this entire time, haven't you, Belle? From that window. I don't need to answer that question. Oh, I thought he was talking in his head. Mm. That was literally supposed to be an echo effect. I thought he was just thinking to himself. Yeah, like internalizing that. himself, yeah. Yeah, oh my god. You came here on New Year's Eve, then spent 49 hours watching us until you returned to your hotel room last night. You observed us the entire time without sleep or rest. Hmm. And you only ate once some pizza delivered by Simon. Aside from that, you never drank any water or relieved yourself. You simply sat there and continued to watch us. Jesus. You have visions, too, don't you? You came here solely to hear us talk, didn't you? But then, why bother watching us for over two days beforehand? You didn't come to talk with us. You came because you wanted to see this apartment with your own eyes. And because you're already convinced of something. Oh, well, I very much got the impression she's already convinced we're guilty, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? He who fights with monsters should see to it that he himself does not become a monster. And if you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. He who fights Beyblade must be sure to not become a Beyblade. <laughs> but I... Oh. Coffee. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was coffee in this building! Thank you, my fairy. If you hadn't been paying attention, this coffee would have all gone to waste. Us in our brains. Ugh. It really has a way of interfering with our lives. Ooh, I do not like that that mm -mm. sentence. Mm -mm. That's nasty. Let's focus on Fridujo to his left. Uh, Fridujo, that's my favorite fridge brand. I wonder if that's just fridge in another language. Probably is. Either that or a hilarious fake brand name. <laughs> 